I want you all to pay God attention to Ibukobi. Ndimo State. Ndebai. Chuku Goziono. Oya Adrian Chaninema. Naha Jesus. My name is Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Ziobi, General Overseer of Zion Prayer Movement Outreach and the founder of Seraphic Cones Foundation. God bless you. I've come again for the matter concerning Imo State, the state of my origin. God bless you and God Ibu bless all the Imo politicians. God bless you we all in the name of Jesus. I have interest in Imo State election. My interest is that there is no family you will enter in Imo State without seeing Zion member. So that is my number one interest. I know they listen to me. I know they respect me a lot. And I know they are aware that I'm a man of integrity. Because they know what I stand for. You, you May God bless them all. Nobody. And I pray for peace in that forthcoming election, 11th of next month, November. And I pray for protection of all the Imolites and especially Zion members. And uh, I want to also use this opportunity to thank Governor Hope. Who them, uh, we must learn how to appreciate people when they do what is right. When Lagos was on fire, when the houses of Igbo people were being demolished, Governor Hope Sadima was the only governor that came from the southeast. He came from the southeast and met the governor of Lagos State. And they dialogue and they stopped the demolition of Igbo properties in Alaba International. It, oh. it wants to praise somebody, it wants to thank somebody. So, Governor Hope Sadima, thank you for that. There was a time I cried out about the road leading to my village and uh, he said, came from Nobis Primary School. That road has been abandoned by former governors of Imo State. When I cry out about that road, Governor Hope was them promise and they have sent contractors they to have it to and they work with the commerce governors there. So Governor Hope was them thank you for accepting to do the road for the people and also the secondary school that was that is falling. God bless you. I need to appreciate you for what you have done in Alaba International, for what you have done in Imo State and I know what you will do more after the election. So, God bless you, Imo Light. Go out there and After the election. vote wisely. Don't be deceived. If you Imo decided to kill your brother, Abuja does not know you kill your brother. So, you see that at the end, we are the one hurting ourselves. I beg the politicians in Imo Land on my birthday about the release of Nanakan, how they will go. This is the only birthday gift I need from you and him and, and the other senators here. To go if they to want to be relevant, Asaro, they begin to call Mars and Nam Khan. Release of Mars and Nam Because if you are wise and intelligent enough, you will know that it's dialogue we need. Everyone. If you like, continue to kill your Everyone. brothers in the southeast. It will not release Nam Khan. If there is any man of God that have been crying about the issue of Nam Khan in Ibo land, I am number one person. You are and lying. With my knowledge, I know that what will save us is dialogue. And the people that will go if for this dialogue are these governors, senators. You are, you that is why I was pleading to them people. through senators in Nassau to see? take the message. And the bloggers on the Facebook we are wasting the matter. But this truth. The only people that will go for anything. this dialogue are our governors, senators, our elites, political leaders. You Mad that are killing your brother Mad in the village. Everywhere. Are you the one that will go to Abuja? Will they open the gate for you? So once again, Governor Hope Sadima, thank you for the road you will commence on Thursday. Thank you for what you did in Alabama International. And the more life, he will commence on Thursday. State. He will go out there and he will. vote wisely. God bless you and preserve you. And I pray for peace in that election in Jesus' holy name. All right, wonderful people. All right, great people of Biafra. As we just finished watching this video. I want you people to always understand that I always bring authentic information to our people. I want you people to understand that Ebu Kobi is a just a useless human being. Ebu Kobi, Ebu Kobi now have turned himself to a politician. And this is how they always start. Very soon now, Ebu Kobi will begin to prophesy about Hopos Ademba. I want you people to understand that, you see, I don't know who did this to us. I want you people to make sure that this video gets to Ebu Kobi, because whenever I speak to him, he always gets my message. I want you people to tell Ebu Kobi, you see all this galamvanting, thinking that he have his own congregation. 
He's thinking that he have already brainwashed our people by stupid religion they brought to us, brainwashing and stolen from our people. I want you to tell Abu Kobe, time is coming when you see all these dear nonsensical parading themselves, calling themselves man of dog. There is a time that will come. We are not going to allow them to stay in our land. A time is coming with all this nonsense, with all this evil that these people are, you know, doing in our land every day. In the name of man of God, in the name of the honest to God, in the name of prophecy, but they are there arranging every of their story. These people always arrange every of their story. Always fabricating lies, propaganda here and there, hearing healing nonsense that we can they can never prove it. I told you people, time without number. That the Abu KOB is a fulev, a fulev. I told you people, you see Abu Kobi, Abu Kobi is a destruction himself. And now some of you will come out and be and begin to say, he, he, he always call Mazin Namdekano, he always call for Mazin Namdekano release. This is only one when they want to be relevant, when they want people to listen to them. Anytime they want to draw crowd, any day they want to begin to dish out all this deceit from their mouth, they will begin to call Mazen Namikan. I want you people to ask Ebu Kobe what have he done on the list of Mazen Namikan. Ebu Kobe now is telling us that hope was on them is only governor that went to Lagos when they were destroying the properties of our people in Lagos. Now you understand it. This is how they will start, begin to campaign. And they have already started the campaign. But I'm telling Abu Kobi, I will put an when off before I come mad. If I I am telling him, time will come. You see all this nonsense that they are doing in our land, deceiving our people. Instead of them to tell our people the truth, tell them the truth. Tell them that the government is their problem. Tell them that any society that is working today is all about their government. Tell them that infrastructure, taking care of the, the citizens, hospitals, factories, is from the government. Tell old Bikobi that he should stop deceiving our people, telling our people that is a hope somewhere. Tell Ebu Kobi, na ifo ona abogali, ifo ona abogali, ifo ona abogali. Ban Ebu Kobi ya he is a he is a top. Ban Ebu Kobi ya we po akana politics. Ban Ebu Kobi if he haven't forgotten, this hopeless who's on them one is the one killing our people, maiming our people in Imo State today. The same hope who's on them one that Ebu Kobi is present today. Ebu Kobi now is telling you people to go and vote hope those of them for his second tenor so that he will continue killing because they are now together working as a you know partner they are partner in crime I want you people to know that they use Ebu Kobi to come and deceive our people Ebu Kobi with all his fake miracles Ebu Kobi with all these fake prophecies Ebu Kobi with all his fake miracles and healings. I'm challenging Ebu Kobi. I want him to bring somebody that I have healed, a cripple or blind person that I have healed. If it's not propaganda and lie from pit of hell, these people are agent of Luciferia. I want you people to tell Ebu Kobi, you see this journey that he want to embark on. I want you to tell Ebu Kobi, you see this journey that he want to embark on. Tell him that it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be ever be easy. And I want to use this medium to tell the Imolite people. Are you people to are you people ready to vote hope or them to continue killing you people? But all right, let me introduce myself because it's very, very imperative that you understand who is talking to you all. All right, wonderful people.
freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are still welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Nam Okuchukano. Here I am, I always set the record straight. Regardless of who you are, it does not matter who you are. We are not here for political correctness. My name is Mazo Kinna Okichuku, known as the Biafran Child Watch Naked. Dear General, I want you to make sure that this message gets to Ebukobi, that Yahweh Puake will not offer. Makayen Kato Ona is not going to help him. And believe you me, and he can never escape all this rot of anger from Chuko Kigadema that is coming by deceiving and brainwashing our people. Telling our people now to go and vote for hope, those are them. Telling our people now that hope, those are them that is killing our people every single day. That he is, you see, that is why I told you people, Mbaka have come and gone. Odumeja have come and gone. Now is the era of Ebu Kobi. Now do you understand what religion is doing to our people? Ebu Kobi is there brainwashing, saying all sorts of nonsense from his mouth. Ebu Kobi is a charlatan. Ebu Kobi is inconsequential. Ebu Kobi is a moron. A big time moron. A nonsensical human being that raising nothing. He never raises. That is why he will come out and begin to yap and talk all sorts of rubbish. Because now I think probably he want to move from Lagos down to Imo State to go and open all this their nonsense. And of course he have to find his safer landing by supporting Hope Ozodemba so that Hope Ozodemba will also give him a free hand to begin to build churches from our place instead of them to build factory, company where people will work. No, they will keep on building churches. Make sure. But I am telling you, if Rosie and Aga, Oga had a quiz you. Good day. I remain blessed.